Oh no! Somehow I have been washed up on this desert island. I think I am all alone. This is unfortunate. I have nothing but the clothes on my back. I still have the will to carry on, so to speak. What am I to do? My first concern is water. I must find a source of drinking water. Aha! A little pond of fresh water. This will be source of drinking water. Thank you base god Rothbard. But now I am starting to feel hungry. I need to act soon or else I will die of starvation. I need to think of an idea to get food in my stomach. What food could possibly be on this island? I think I have to find some fish in the sea. But how can I catch them? I have technical knowledge of every possible subject. I have an IQ of extraordinary magnitude. I know three ways to catch a fish. One, with a spear. Two, with a hand net. And three, with a boat and large net. These are capital goods. But there are none on this island as far as I know. S. Oh I have to make them from scratch. What should I choose to make? Well, the boat and net will be the best choice. I can catch a lot of fish with the boat. But it will take me at least two weeks to build a boat and another week to build a big net to drag behind the boat. I cannot wait three weeks for food, I will definitely get dead before then. What about a hand net? Well, it will also be effective in catching fish, but again, it will probably take me two days to find the materials and craft a net out of the materials. My stomach is already growling, so I probably won't have energy in a couple of days and will be very weak and get died from sickness. So I will choose to make a spear. Although it is not as productive as the other two capital goods, I can at least make a spear good enough to penetrate the skin of a fish in about a couple of hours. So now I'm going to find the materials to make a spear. Wow! This is a great stick for a spear. It seems just the perfect length. But, it's stuck between one rock and another rock. I will have to physically remove the stick from between that rock and the other rock. Here goes. Success. This stick is excellent. Now all I have to do is sharpen it to a point at one end and I will be able to have dinner tonight. Okay. So now my stick is sharpened thanks most of all to this large pencil sharpener I found lying on the beach, so to speak. In this regard I was pretty lucky. Now that my spear is ready, I can go catch some fish. May base god Mises endow my spear with praxeological might. Eight hours have passed and I managed to catch five fish. The fish are quite small, so it is probably only enough to feed me for a day. But if I eat all my fish tonight, I will have to spend another eight hours tomorrow doing the same thing, to catch another five fish, and that is assuming my stick doesn't break or gets blunt. Do I really want to toil day after day just to have enough to live to the next day? No. That would be a subsistence level life. If you subjectively value that, that is fine. But I don't. I want to live beyond a subsistence level life. I want to increase my standard of living. Let us look at my choices. I want to increase my productivity. The next thing I want to make is the hand net. I know it will be more productive than my sphere. I could probably catch 10 fish per day instead of just 5 fish per day. That sounds good. But how long will it take me to build my hand net? Having surveyed the island today, I now think it will take three solid days to build a durable net. But I cannot catch fish all day and build the net. I can only do one thing at a time. So this is what I will do. I will put three fish from my catch today into a saving pile and eat the other two. Tomorrow, I will use my spear to do the same thing and put three fish aside into the saving pile and I will eat the remaining two. 
I will then have six fish in my saving pile on the day after tomorrow. I will not go fishing that day. Instead, I will start to build the net over the next three days. Over those next three days I will take two fish per day out of my saving pile to eat while I work on the net. This way I will not be starving over the three days. After those three days I expect to have a net that will produce ten fish a day. Hopefully. So as you can see, saving plays a vital role in capital accumulation, increasing productivity, and ultimately higher future consumption and standards of living. The same logic would apply also to building a boat with an even longer time horizon. As I produce more productive capital goods, I can increase my saving pile while maintaining the same consumption level. This means I can enjoy increasing standards of living while also having savings to fund other projects I wish to pursue. Those with a very high IQ might have noticed that the rate at which I progress from the low production capital goods to the higher production capital goods is determined by the amount I am willing to take out of my present income. This willingness to forego present consumption is determined for the most part by an individual's time preference. The lower your time preference, the more you are willing to save now, the faster you will go to the higher production capital goods. Time preference, just like normal preference, is a subjective aspect of human behavior. Your own values determine it. But non-family values will not be tolerated on this island. Or I will physically remove you, so to speak. This will be it for now, I am going to put these fish in my stomach, except three of them. I hope you learned something today. If your IQ is too low, you would not have understood a thing, for your brain is dumb. Goodbye, and remember, physical removal, so to speak.